So I happen to notice this spring just resting on top of the carburetor. It's a good size spring, but but I think it's the uh, one of the return springs for the for the throttle. But in order to figure it out, I have to get the cowl off the tractor. Uh, it's not hard to get off, but in order to see everything that's underneath, it's got to it's got to come off, and and so I'm going to do that. So the last thing we need to do is get the tractor started. Uh, it's been a, been a couple years since it's run. It shouldn't be a, be a real issue. It usually starts pretty well. I've had to move it indoors where it's warm. Uh, it's getting cold here uh, in New England. And trying to get this thing started if, if the engine was cold uh, would, have, would have made it all that much more difficult. So anyway, I've moved it inside. So one of the things I noticed when I, when I started getting it ready to start was that the throttle didn't seem to be attached to anything. Uh, I can move the throttle, but nothing moves down on the on the carburetor. So I happen to notice this spring just resting on top of the carburetor. It's a good size spring, but but I think it's the uh, one of the return springs for the for the throttle. But in order to figure it out, I have to get the cowl off the tractor. Uh, it's not hard to get off, but in order to see everything that's underneath, it's got to it's got to come off, and and so I'm going to do that. But before I take it off, there's an interesting story about, about John Deere and these cowls or these, these hoods that go over the top of the tractor. Um, back before 19, I believe it's 38, um, there, there was no streamlining, there was no, there was no style or art to the, to the tractor. And in the late 1930s, John Deere company hired an industrial designer slash stylist by the name of Henry Dreyfus to come in and style the tractors so that they were more attractive uh, and, and maybe even a little bit sexy. But hey, let me show you. Wayne Browell writes in his seminal work on John Deere, John Deere's company, published in 1984, that the farmer loves his tractor, provided of course it works well, and that as a machine they considered it a thing of beauty. But Deere engineers had a dream to make tractors more pleasing to the eye than the mostly utilitarian form that was their current line of tractors. By 1937, good industrial design was becoming widely accepted, with some designers achieving prominence in the discipline. Not all of Deere's management was enthused with the idea early, but the forces of conviction won out, and Deere hired New York designer Henry Dreyfus to come to Waterloo to redesign their tractors. In November of 37, Dreyfus and his team unveiled the new look of the Model B tractor. These photos from the Deere archives, presented in Browell's book, show the dramatic difference before and after. You can also see the family styling resemblance to my 1951 MT. So successful was Dreyfus in his relationship with Deere that he would design for and advise the company another 30 years. All right, so we're going to lift the cowl off the tractor. In order to do that, we need to lift it up over the exhaust stack. But before we do that, there's actually a few uh, there's a few components or a few parts that we have to have to remove uh, before we do that because all those parts are going to interfere with that cowl coming off. So let's do that first. Gas cap has to come off. The oil breather cap has to come off. The um, air breather cap has to come off. And to release the cowl from the tractor, there's a series of cam locks that go all the way around the edge, edge of the cowl. So we have to loosen those up, so let's do that first. Some of these have gotten really rusty sitting outside, so, so that one's going to be a little bit of a struggle uh, getting that off. I might have to use a pair of um, uh, vice grips in order to gra grab a hold of that one. There's one up on top here. And that one's all rusted in place as well.
All right, so I'm gonna have to go after those rusted ones. I'll put some oil on it. So give me a minute and I'll get right back and we'll try to get those off too. All right, sprayed a little WD-40 on it. I'm not sure that's gonna be enough. Let's try the big screwdriver first. Go big or go home. Okay, so you gotta love it. Uh, big hammers, big screwdrivers, uh, pry bars, uh, you know, whatever it takes to get this stuff off. All right, so we've got it loose, and now to get it off, we gotta get it up over that exhaust stack. Uh, this thing's not particularly heavy, but it is awkward, so it'll be interesting to see how this goes. <clears throat> All right, so it all looks pretty good. Um, it's pretty clean. Uh, let me bring you on the other side, and I can already see why the uh, throttle cable is not working. It's all come completely disconnected. So let's go over there and take a look and see if we can't figure out how to fix that. So we found the problem. It actually had nothing to do with that spring, uh, which leaves me wondering now where that spring goes. Uh, we'll figure that out in the future. So it turns out that the problem is there's a connecting rod that goes from the carburetor up to the throttle linkage, uh, that, which is a long rod that goes all the way down the length of the tractor back to the, to the, um, the throttle itself on the steering column. And that had simply slipped off, off its position. Now I'm looking at that right now, and I can see this, this coming off again in the future, so I need to go to, to the to the parts breakdown and see if there's supposed to be some kind of a retainer clip in there. Uh, right now that doesn't exist. Uh, for, the, for the short term, um, getting this thing started, I'm not going to worry about it. I think, I think it'll be fine just the way it is. But hey, let me show you how this linkage works from the throttle at the steering wheel all the way down the length of the tractor to the carburetor itself. So at the throttle control, it's just, a, it's just an arm, and that arm pivots on a bearing here. So what's interesting about this is at the throttle, there's a spring that keeps pressure against the throttle pivot boss so that as you move the throttle up and down, that spring keeps it in position so it can't drift or move, move down in any way. From there, there's a long rod and that long rod goes all the way down the length of the, of the tractor to a pivot block at the front. Now on the other side of the pivot block, the rod bends into 290 degree uh, angles so that that linkage rod that comes up from the carburetor can hook over the top of that, that throttle rod that goes all the way back to the, uh, to the tractor. Uh, when we do this, then as we move the, uh, the throttle up and down, it then opens and closes the, uh, the carburetor as necessary. All right, so that's how that whole thing works. The next thing we need to do is we need to uh, put the battery in, uh, hook it up, and let's see if we can get this thing, this thing rolling. All right, so let's get this battery installed now. This is a six volt system, and it's actually a positive ground, so we need to be careful that we don't get those leads crossed. So, so this is the positive cable, and this is, this is the ground strap, so we've got that in the right location. And of course, this is the power lead, so we'll get that hooked up as well. Now that's way in the back, so sometimes it's a little bit hard to, to get it in there, but we'll get, get it down as best as we can. 
Alright, so I don't plan to lock everything in there tight. Uh, with the battery installed, I'm just hoping I can get the, get the tractor started. If I can get it started, that's a win. Uh, I can then take it up and down the driveway, make sure everything's functioning the way it, it's supposed to. It's late in the fall here and it's getting cold. We got snow in the forecast. So I really want to get the, uh, the tractor put away in its shed. So that way everything is up and running, it's usable, so in the spring I can take it out and then do whatever whatever work with the tractor that I've, that I've got planned. All right, so uh, let's see if this thing will turn over. The power switch is on. Pull the choke out. Let's see if this thing will turn over. <laughs> 